A Toronto mother says she was fooled by a rehab centre in Quebec. When Yvonne Keller paid the centre $10,000, she didn't know who was running the facility. Only a week later, her son was sent home on a bus, penniless and still addicted. She then found out that Narconon in Trois-Rivières is run by Scientologists. We have since talked to a former employee there, David Love, who says the facility is just a front to try to recruit vulnerable people, drug addicts, into Scientology. And he says many people get kicked out, and those are the ones whose staff can't indoctrinate. And so, Kathy, how is Narconon reacting to CBC's investigation? Well, the director of legal affairs there says he is a Scientologist and they do use the teachings of Scientology to uh, treat addicts there, but he says that's because Scientology is very effective. He just put this kid right back to where he started from. Keller has been trying to get her money back since. It is 100% cult sect. This former Narconon employee says the rehab center is a front to recruit vulnerable addicts into Scientology. The idea is to get them into the Narconon. Once they're in and the mother or father or family has paid five or ten thousand dollars or the whole thirty thousand dollars, once they get them in, uh, that, that's the key. The rehab center spokesperson says Keller's son was kicked out because he was too disruptive. We are very, very sorry for him. But you know what? We are not responsible of his condition before he came. He admits Scientology is taught here, but he says 1,200 addicts have left drug-free. We are not looking what is politically correct. We're just looking what gives good results. I don't want my money to go to that church. The Narconon program has recruiters who answer calls in every major Canadian city.